it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So now that the tower challenge is over, that means we get to continue with my main storyline, which I'm really excited about because we actually get to continue with the Jungle Book. So in my last gameplay video, we actually brought in Bagheera, so that was pretty cool. And so we got some dialogue with Mowgli and him when we first brought him in. So now we're going to be going ahead and continuing with that dialogue today. Also, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to prepare for the next limited time event. So here's Bagheera. Hmm, I'm not quite sure about this place. It's unlike anywhere I've ventured before. Though, it seems safe. I'm responsible for Mowgli's safety, nevertheless. I'd best make sure there aren't any predators about. Safety first, send Bagheera to survey the new land. Okay, so which land are you going to choose to survey, Bagheera? Guess we are going to have to wait and find out where he's gonna choose to walk around. I'm not sure what predators we have. We have a lot of villains, but predators? I mean, Shere Khan, it's not like he's walking around or anything just yet, so. I think Mowgli is doing okay for now, but as soon as Shere Khan shows up, and we know he will at some point, and I'm assuming he'll walk around the kingdom like Mother Gothel has before, and Zerg, and Pete, and other villains that we've encountered in the kingdom, but characters like that walk around before we actually can battle them and then welcome them. So I'm assuming it's going to be exactly the same for Shere Khan. So at some point Shere Khan will be just roaming around, but we won't be able to interact with him at all. He'll literally just be walking. So yeah. I guess that means that we will be preparing to battle him when he starts walking around. So that should be pretty soon, but I doubt it'll be today. But we'll just have to wait and find out as we go along here in the gameplay. So the limited time event, guys, is Princess and the Frog, which means we need to also get ready our secondary storyline characters, which is going to be the Little Mermaid. Now, I know this isn't a Little Mermaid character, but I wanted to level up Felix from Wreck-It Ralph, and he is now level 7. This is really gonna put some pep in my step. Yes, I just needed somebody relatively quick while I was waiting, um, so that way I could level up uh, one of my Mulan characters, and then I will head into Little Mermaid. So, I want to do Flounder, actually, at some point. He's only eight hours, so I need to start collecting for him again. Um, I've got King Triton. He's a level eight, so he's 16 hours, I believe. Ursula is the same. Uh, so, those are going to be characters that I can do as well. Um... But as I said, I do want to do Mulan first, because now that I blew off Cricky in the Tower Challenge to get her pretty much, um, I definitely want to continue leveling her up, maybe even max her out. I would like to see her other welcoming screens out with her costumes, so maybe I will only get her to like a level 8, and then I'll just leave her sort of sit there for a while. Mushu, though, would be probably a good idea to max out in case he does ever show up in a Tower Challenge, because we know how important those Tower Challenges are, and at least having one character maxed out in every collection is extremely important. Now, in terms of characters in collections, also to the other collection I've been focusing on is Cinderella. Now, I don't know if that collection is really going to be that helpful with this limited time event, but I'm assuming it is possible because of that new Cinderella update, we could actually be able to use Lady Tremaine, uh, Drizilla, and Anastasia to collect maybe some character tokens throughout that event. We'll have to wait and see, but... Um, I'm not totally sure, as I said, but if they are going to be useful, I would like to try and get them a little bit higher. Two, I would like my whole entire Cinderella storyline of set of characters to be totally maxed out pretty soon. Speaking of maxing out, here's Ariel being maxed out now. Now, she's in her Little Mermaid costume, like her actual mermaid costume. <laughs> so, she will be uh, coming in back into the kingdom uh, with that on. So, we'll see her welcoming screen with her fin, which is probably my favorite one that she has. Now, Mulan's welcome screen is really cool. It's actually probably one of the better Disney princesses, for sure. Mulan is now level four. Thank you. I'll do my best to live up to this. Yes, you will. I am not even worried about it. She's so cool. I actually really love having her in the kingdom. 
And I know she was one of the earlier characters um, in their animations and stuff like that. So the fact that she is literally just like this cool and has so many great quests and stuff like that is a real surprise. Because usually when games sort of like evolve and stuff like that, they either change the look or appearance of the characters or change sort of the look of some of the quests. But apparently her quests and stuff haven't changed or anything. So everything looks exactly the same, which means... The game quality and consistency has been actually really, really high. So that is awesome for sure. Mowgli! Oh, what's your con? So, the man cub has found his way here, has he? How convenient. I was not prepared with his voice. <laughs> it seems my revenge will be swifter than I'd thought. Shere Khan, here. I knew I recognized his scent. Quest complete, something in the air. Mowgli will have to hear about this, and soon, nothing good can come of that bounder stalking around. Does that mean he's actually going to be stalking around already? I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Seems a bit early though, but. And that's why you must stay out of his way. If there's one thing Shere Khan knows how to do, it's hold a grudge. Ah, oh, Bagheera, that's just silly. I'm not afraid of him. Yes, and that's precisely what I'm worried about. We just need some place where he won't be able to find you so quickly. Running water, build the jungle river drift. 100,000? No, get out of my kingdom! Seriously, what? Oh, okay, well we get two character tokens possible drops from that, which is actually really good. But 100,000 to build this? Oh, and of course you want to go where I want to put the jumping jellyfish one of these days. Of course. Well, it fits perfectly there, and I don't think it's going to fit perfectly anywhere else. It should go over here though, guys. I'll just try and drag it. I can't wait till the new update, because they are going to Changes dragging feature, which will save me so much time. Especially if I ever do a speed build again. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll just build it where my jump and jellyfish is going. It is not gonna stay here, but it's where the room is right now, and I want to get it going. It's only four hours though to build it, which I'm quite surprised. I thought it was gonna be a little bit longer. But a hundred thousand magic, of course. Everything is getting more expensive now because my kingdom is getting bigger. But uh, yeah, it still hurts the magic bank for sure definitely still hurts it so uh that is why i need to check your kingdom at least once a day to use that gathering spell if nothing else i definitely check it more than once a day just so that i can get more magic and stuff like that but a minimum of once a day for sure wally Arr! quest complete holding hands part three <laughs> Honestly, their quests are so ridiculous. They just have like one word to them like every time or it's the same word over and over. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you get what I mean. It really makes no sense. Well, at least Wally's not gonna get electrocuted, hopefully, this time. Directive part six, and eat to celebrate success with Wally. Success of what? Wally still being alive after protecting Eve while she was napping and he was getting rained on and struck by lightning like a hundred thousand times for like hours and hours and hours while she just slept and recharged. Gosh, that was like the cutest quest ever, but it looked so sad. I was like, Honestly, Wally, how are you still alive? Even as a robot, it makes no sense that we still love Wally. He is absolutely adorable for sure. And my goodness, I didn't realize that holding off that side quest with Wally's house, because like you have to use gems to buy Wally's house. So when I actually, I got it, I think it was what, on sale? Like when they had, um, uh, what was it like? Not like a Black Friday, but something like that. And then they sort of cut, it was like a 40% off or something like that off of Wally's house. So I purchased it and stuff. And then I had no idea. I just still left that quest along the side forever and ever. And then I was like, oh, I'll do it. It's probably just one thing and it'll just 
be gone. But it actually has led to like this whole slew of dialogue between the two of them. Not that it makes any sense or anything, but you know, again, it's just been like part five, part four of like protecting Eve or, you know, saving Eve from something or celebrating now, which again, I would never be able to tell from their dialogue that that was actually what was going on. Now, here is Lady Tremaine coming back into the kingdom. It takes forever to collect her her rings and stuff like that, so I thought, eh, level her up. Lady Tremaine is now level 8. Remember, self-control above all. It's, it's interesting, or it's hard interesting to do her voice because her voice her actor is actually played by the same woman who does Maleficent, which is really cool, but it's more, Maleficent has more of like that British accent going to her. Not that Lady Tremaine doesn't, but it's like way more subtle and I always like want to do Maleficent's voice when I look at Lady Tremaine. <laughs> Okay, here's Mushu. Imperial Bulletin. Mulan saves orphanage from sinkhole. News flash. Empire wide poll shows Mulan favored by 99% of adorable puppies. Special report. Sources say Shan Yu's mama is so fat, Mulan's the only one who can bench press her. <gasps> what? <laughs> like to see any other guardian write up a phony press release that ha! <laughs> It was complete image management. I almost got Shang's signature forged just right too. All in the wrist, baby. Oh gosh. Mushu, you are up to no good as usual. Even though I just welcomed you in the kingdom like last week or whatever, you have been nothing but trouble. My goodness, what are you going to do to my kingdom? He's not the villain, but he does like a little bit of trouble here and there, so be warned. Ooh, the Jungle River Drift is done. Yay! Okay, we're gonna have to click that here in a second, and then maybe I'll actually move it just so I'm actually happy with where it goes, cause it's bothering me. Just in case I randomly buy that jumping jellyfish that I really, really want to buy. Kind of useless, but it is a very cool looking attraction for elixirs. So here it is, dun dun dun. Jungle River Drift, and it's sparkly right now until I click it. The river, of course. Shere Khan will never be able to track your scent if you can cross running water. But I told you, Bagheera, I'm not even scared of Shere Khan. And besides, the river just isn't any fun without Baloo. Yes, well, when a tiger is stalking you, fun isn't quite as important Quest complete, running water. It's just as well Baloo isn't here right now, really. What? He'd be so fun. Bear necessities. Come on, we need to start singing that again. Not just wait until Mowgli is uh, leveled up every single time in the kingdom. It's kind of what I do. <laughs> Sing that every time. Now that we have somewhere you'll be safe for a while, the two of us should talk about how to handle sheer Khan. Mowgli's like, or not. Or let's not and say we did. Really? Gee, Bagheera, that actually sounds pretty fun. And by handle sheer Khan, I mean keep you as far away from him as possible. <sighs> Never mind. What is up, Bagheera? You look so down and depressed. <laughs> Panther knows best. This is a kingdom quest. Send Bagheera and Mowgli to Jungle River Drift. So we have to do it together? Or separate? I'm not quite sure. I guess we will have to check that out here in a second. Now, I do definitely, definitely want to move... Uh, jungle river drift so I'm thinking I might what okay so before I go and do that Shere Khan is walking around the park <gasps> no are we actually getting close to battling him what on earth I feel like it's so early for him to be here Shere Khan is walking around the kingdom guys oh 
I'm so scared to battle him. Honestly, it's just so ridiculous. All right, moving the jungle river drift here. Yay, and it actually fits. Ooh. Uh, no, I like it the original way. Look at that, right beside Tinkerbell's. It doesn't really belong there, especially by the RC racer, but Ham's coming to check it out. He's like, ooh, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe Ham's like, I can get behind this whole idea of having a jungle river drift in my kingdom. All right, so I guess that is everything I'm going to be doing for this video. So I'm looking forward, I guess, now to battling Shere Khan. But I think first that we actually have to unlock Baloo and start collecting for him. So I probably have a few more quests for that. Also, too, we're going to be continuing the Mulan storyline. I'm going to be helping you guys sort of get sorted for this limited time event, which is coming in just a few days. We've got the new update coming soon as well, which is going to be pretty awesome, which is probably going to show us the Princess and the Frog characters all blacked out as well as show us some of the new features that they have added in terms of like redecorating and clearing out. So I might show you guys some of that stuff. Well, actually I will. What am I talking about? We get an update. I show you guys everything you guys need to know for that update. So hopefully you guys thought this video was pretty fun. I'm actually really excited about this jungle river drift thing because I know Baloo is coming very soon. And now Shere Khan's here. This is like all working out perfectly and I'm really looking forward to continuing the Jungle Book storyline. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a big Mickey thumbs up. Subscribe, hit that little bell for post notifications and we will see you guys for the next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Bye!